Ukrainian military destroys 16 Russian troops, tank, and helicopter in southern Ukraine. The Ukrainian military have destroyed 16 Russian invaders, one tank, and one helicopter in southern Ukraine. The relevant statement was made by the South Operational Command on Facebook, a Ukraine Forum correspondent reports. According to the South Operational Command, the situation at the contact line is tense but stable and controlled by the Ukrainian Defense Forces. Russian troops continue to open fire on the positions of Ukrainian defenders and peaceful settlements with artillery mortars, multiple launch rocket systems. The enemy did not take active actions but was enhancing its defense lines, mining the approach routes and coast of the Inuits. The aggressor continues to fire missiles at Odessa region. This morning, two Onyx cruise missiles have been launched from the Bal coastal missile system deployed in the temporarily occupied Crimea. The Ukrainian anti-aircraft defense units shot them down over the sea. Last night, Russian invaders were shelling the areas neighboring the Kherson region in order to regain their last positions. The enemy opened fire on Krive Reed district and the city of Mykolaiv with the Smirch and Uragan multiple launch rocket systems. No casualties were reported. Destroying supermarkets, city and suburban infrastructure, Russian occupiers are making every effort to intimidate local residents and prove their superiority. Meanwhile, our units completing fire missions including with the involvement of rocket and artillery weapons, eliminated 16 rashists and destroyed one enemy tank and six armored and motor vehicles, the South Operational Command noted. Near Mikulevka, Kherson region, Ukrainian defenders shot down Russia's helicopter with the manned portable air defense system. The enemy continues to keep four missile launching ships and three large landing crafts in the Black Sea. The threat of 32 cruise missile strikes from the sea is persisting. Meanwhile, Russia deploys additional battalion tactical groups in Severodonetsk direction. The enemy is continuing offensive operations in the eastern operational zone, launching missile and airstrikes on infrastructure facilities across Ukraine. That's according to a morning war update by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. In the northern direction, the enemy reinforced units of the 1st Panzer Army of the Western Military District, which is involved in covering the Russian-Ukrainian border in the Bryansk and Kursk regions with two battalion tactical groups of airborne assault troops. Russian aggressors fired artillery at the positions of the defense forces in the border areas of Sumy and Chernihiv regions and ran UAV air reconnaissance in the area of the settlement of Serodina Buda, Sumy region. In the Kharkiv direction, the enemy's main efforts are focused on positional defense and preventing the further advance of Ukraine's army units toward the state border. The invaders attacked, including with their army aircraft, in the areas of the settlements of Rubizhne, Ruska, Lozova, Bayrak, and Demetivika. In the Slovyansk direction, Russian occupiers are focusing their efforts on establishing full control over the settlement of Bohorodajny and creating conditions for the development of the offensive in Slovyansk. The enemy used artillery near Debrevne, Kornokevke, Nova Dmitrovka, and Vernopil. In the Lyman direction, Russian occupiers are regrouping troops in order to develop an offensive in the directions Lyman, Rajhorodok, and Yampil Seversk. In the Severodonetsk direction, the Russians have strengthened the group by moving to the area of settlements Kermina Rubizhne, up to two battalion tactical groups. With artillery support, the enemy carried out assault operations in the city of Severodonetsk, trying to gain a foothold in its central part.
In the Bakhmut direction, Russian aggressors fired artillery at the positions of Ukrainian troops in the areas of the settlements of the Vidro de Genia, Novoluhansk, and Bakhmut. The enemy sees partial success, having fixated in the settlement of the Vidro de Genia and continuing to carry out assault operations in the direction of the Vidro de Genia, Vershenia. In the Avadivika, Kurakivika, Novopavlivka, and Zaporizhia directions, the Russians took no significant action. They are increasingly employing aircraft and artillery to bind Ukrainian troops. In the South Ba area, the occupiers are concentrating their main efforts on maintaining the occupied frontiers and preventing Ukrainian troops from launching counter-offensive operations.